Good morning students. Today we are going to learn about extensive reader. Synopsis. Introduction. Principle of extensive reader. Aims of extensive reader. Purpose of extensive reader. Characteristics and evaluating. Introduction. Extensive reading is different from the kind of reading done in the classroom, which is called intensive reading. Rather than trying to read difficult texts under guidance, extensive reader focusing on reading easier texts independently. The goal of extensive reading is to read widely at a level that is comfortable for students. Principles of extensive reader Read slightly below your ability level. Read and, e and read uh, easy books. Uh, the text should not be uh, too difficult. So students experience a frust frustration of not being able to understand the book. So students should uh, select the book at their level. Do not use dictionaries. Uh, skip over a part uh, if you do not understand. Aims of Excellency Reader To enrich the knowledge and to uh, develop the reading interest among the students. Uh, capturing student interest is a key. If the material available um, are interesting to the students, then they will be uh, far more likely to want to read them. To make them read for pleasure. Read for pleasure requires a large selection of books uh, be available for students to choose at their level. To collect information about the topics. Uh, to get the new information and to learn more about uh, something they already know. They already know. Uh, to improve study habit. Past experience uh, uh, should uh, stimulate them to read more in, uh, more and increasing uh, motivation, enjoyment and desire to read. And make them a versatile reader. Purpose of Excellency Reader To increase students confidence in their English reading ability and to increase students reading fluency. Specifically, to decrease dependence of words, um, word by word comprehension and to increase their reading speed. To increase students interpreting ability. Uh, specifically, uh, so that uh, students write and uh, discuss in English uh, in their own ideas and opinions about what has been read. Characteristics. Characteristics of extensive reading. Uh, read as much as possible. Uh, related to pleasure and information and general understanding of the students. Uh, students read what they want. Uh, students choose what they want to read based on their interest. If students find the book is too difficult uh, or they do not uh, enjoy it, they can change it for their, uh, another one. Then reading material are well or the linguistic competency of the students. Reading is based on uh, own space. Uh, reading is based on, uh, um, by its nature, a private individual activity. It can be done anywhere and anytime. For example, read when you are waiting for bus, read when you are uh, between classes. Keep a book with you every time. Teacher is a uh, role model of a reader for students. Teacher can tell them about what kind of uh, books might be easy for them. Because she might know some interesting books for them, and she will keep, uh, she will help them to manage how much uh, they read, and she might ask about um, the reading. Evaluating extensive reader. First, use reading targets. Teacher uh, keep the track of each and every student's uh, reading. Teacher can give them uh, credit for the reading. Give credit for reading, like giving stars or uh, give, uh, giving gift, uh, uh, interest, uh, gift of interesting books for them. It will definitely motivate them for next level of reading. Individual interview. Uh, teacher must call them individually and ask them about what they have um, gained of reading that book. Thank you. And these are my references.